Hills and I'm in Oregon. So I'm right outside of Portland. Okay. Oh, this is really yeah. early for you then. You should have told it us. It is. <laughs> it's, but you know what? I'm up at seven o'clock every day. Um, usually like <laughs> seven, seven thirty every day. So. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. I like to get as much sunlight as I possibly can within the day. <laughs> I can't trap myself in. We were just talking about the uh, stay-at-home orders. What are you guys, what's going on um, here? We are um, slowly but surely opening because I live in a smaller town. Um, mm. So we are open, but, you know, with the respect of wear a mask and keep your social yeah. distancing. And still people are like, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to make a point. Um, yeah, yeah. And I don't know what point that is, like, uneducated, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I, uh, yeah, we're just, it's just keeping distance. I went to a friend's house yesterday and looked at their garden. And it's just, we keep, um, you know, good six feet between us. I'm taking um, some of my friends that are clients. There's a small salon in town. Um, and I'm going to, you know, cut their hair and stuff like that. But just checking and double checking, dotting that I, crossing that T, wearing yeah. that mask, just washing those hands, you know, so. Yeah. Um, what about you guys? Well, I'm in Ohio. I'm in Columbus. I'm Carol, and I'm the education Hi. director. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, Ohio is really starting to open up. Salons have been open now. I think this is our second week, and okay. um, <clears throat> our stay-at-home order is now called "Stay Safe." So, you know, things are opening up slowly but surely here. So, but I'm Olivia from Ohio. Oh, you are. Um, yeah, I grew up in Medina. Oh my God. I'm from Cleveland. I grew up in okay. Willowick, way up near oh, the lake. Nice. Oh my God. I used to live in Willowick. Um, well, Willowick, is that by Wycliffe, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I lived, um, I lived there for like a year with one of my friends, but I moved here about a year and a half ago. Um, and I lived, my last place I lived was in Lakewood. I love Ohio. I miss, oh my God. I haven't been back yeah. in like two years. Yeah. That's the West side, Lakewood. Yeah. yeah I grew up yeah. there. Yep. Yeah, and then moved to Columbus. So yeah, it's great down here. So Oh, I really love good. it. That's good. Yeah. I so I'm in Michigan and okay. we are still completely shut down. Okay. Yeah. Our stay at home order was ex just extended until June twelfth. Um the east side of our state, like the Detroit area, got hit really, really hard. So yeah, they opened some stuff up way up north in like the UP where there was like four cases in the entire county. Those places got to um, like open retail stores and stuff like that, but no salons in any I part. think, you know, I live in a state that um, it's a big state, but it's not as densely populated as what you would think. Like we've got very, po we've got pockets. Like my town, which uh, it's like four, maybe 12 to 14,000 people that live here. It's an hour outside of Portland, but we're the biggest city outside of Portland and we have 14,000 people. <laughs> so, wow. so it's like, um, you know, between the gorge, you know, I'm in the gorge. It's like a, it's a place that people vacation or whatever, but um, we're the biggest city in the gorge till you get to the, uh, to Portland. But then there's like Salem and, um, you know, all the big cities, Bend and all that jazz. But I heard that Michigan, and I got to tell you, you guys are really kind of being smart about it. I've got um, a biologist in the family who said, listen, if you can afford to, to kind of be through this through at least a little bit of June and just kind of see what everyone else is doing and watch the numbers, um, you know, that's better than kind of rushing back into it. I'm only seeing friends because I know that they've been safe and quarantined. Yeah. Sure. You know, but um, I mean, if you can't, it's it's just crazy. I mean, I've got feelings on both sides. I'm like, people got to work. Yeah. And I'm lucky to be able to work from home. But I can see the argument of people got to work and support their family. But I can also see like, well, you can't support your family if you're sick and dead. Do you know what I mean? So there's yeah. two, there's yeah. two sides here. And it's, it's, it's sad a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I, you want to help everybody. So I think my way of helping is just by wearing the mask and kind of just be forward thinking, you know, and you got to think about other people right now. And I think that that's hard for some people to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, it is. It's where, like, in, where in Michigan do you live? I'm in Grand Rapids. So, uh, okay. Midwest. Yeah. Awesome. I've been to Grand Rapids before. Okay. I've been, a, I used to work a lot in Michigan when I was in Ohio. I used to, um, way before I was with Color Wow, I was with Kevin Murphy and I did some stuff up in um, Michigan and you guys, oh my God, I would, I would like go to places and I'd be like, I would vacation here. And this is four hours away from Ohio. And like, I'm not ashamed to say it. Like 
out here we have commercials for Michigan. And it's like, your guys' Michigan commercials. And I, they always want to make me cry. Like every time I watch <laughs> them, I'm like, I'm like oh, what? I love family. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think it's good that you guys are taking it safe. I really do. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's tough well, for everybody. Family feel both ways, but you know, I, this, at this point, what, like what you can said, you do? Is wear the mask, wash your hands, and and just kind of follow the orders and make sure you're doing what you can for other people. For Did sure. they um, have they talked about zoning your state? Like, are they going to have different zones and codes like that? That's what they did with ours. Um, just I think no, like the north quarter, like how they already opened a few things, and then the rest of the state is all going to be at the same time, as far as I've heard. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, give me a quick background on you. Um, you are you work with Monica Blue? Yes. Yeah, I'm the okay. digital marketing specialist. Okay, cool. And so today, I kind of put together um, a little bit of an outline of, um, we have a class called How to Wow in the Digital Age. Um, and I don't know, I did a class with Monica Blue before. I don't know if you were on it. Um, where I talked about kind of like how we are taking Instagram by storm and we talk about our influencers and just kind of how you can have business online. And really right now, that's where a lot of people are headed. Yeah. yeah. So um, I kind of put together some of my tips and tricks from there. Um, right. And then I, I kind of wanted to go through with you because I find this super, super successful uh, when talking with people, especially with positions like yours that can kind of like, hit a point and then make it pretty and hit it harder. Do you know what I mean? So I wanted to give you some of my tips and tricks of what I would do using the products that the yeah. everyday woman or man is not going to be intimidated by. Because I think in a nutshell and in a capsule, what I always tell people about Color Wow is that we're a problem solution brand. Um, Gail Federici, who's our CEO um, and our inventor, um, she literally will, will hear a problem and say, okay, so let's talk about this, this huge you know, issue, this problem that's happening to both women and men, but hair loss. And she will literally drive that subject, like just hammer it home and, and we'll find out who, what, when, where, why. Um, and then we give a solution. And I love that. It's like, we don't kind of like jot around the, the issue. So right off the bat, when somebody told me we're a very small capsule line, so we don't have a ton of products. I actually have them all set up behind me here. If you can see, um, we don't have a ton of products in our range. Um, but every product does something different. So, uh, again, from your perspective, there's a ton of material that you can use because not every product has the same ingredients sprinkled in every one, if that makes sense. So we're not like mm -hmm. everyone gets lavender. There's lavender in every, like, we don't want to do that because we know that every problem that we see is going to be faced and then cured with lavender. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So yeah. what we do is um, we really, we kind of like get to the science behind the hair. What makes the hair grow? Why does hair look healthy? What can we do to keep it longer? So um, does that kind of sound like something that would be helpful for you in your position? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Perfect, because I want to make sure that when we end the call, you're like, oh, I can take on the world, and not like, what did I just listen to? This man's crazy. Yeah. He's clearly not had a cup of coffee yet. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got, we've got some attendees on, which is great. It's awesome. uh, after 11. So I'm just going to introduce and start the class. Um, I'm Carolyn cool. DeMarco. I'm the Director of Education for Monocle Blue. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we're so glad to have everyone here. It, it is Tuesday, and we're still in May. Uh, 26 so I always have to kind of look at the calendar and figure out what's going on but we're so happy to be able to bring you guys these webinars uh, I'm from Monocle Blue which is a Mailey owned uh, company as you can see we've been around since 1967 and our tagline is turning heads since 1967 um, and again I'm so happy to be here and be offering these classes um, we have a uh, shout out on uh, the chat, let us know where you're calling in from. We always love to hear that. If you have a question, you just kind of put it in the Q and A um, and that way we can see it. We have MRT here from Color Wow and he's gonna be doing uh, our program for us. But I'm gonna introduce Olivia who is a coworker of mine. She's in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. And we found out that MRT is in Oregon. So we're got you up early today. So these Zoom calls are super cool. So we always love to know where you guys are calling in from. Um, and we're just, happy to be able to do this. I think it's just awesome, this new technology. 
Um, Olivia is our digital marketing specialist, and I'm going to let her kind of talk to you a little bit about some things that are going on. Yeah, absolutely. Digital Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I just want to welcome everybody. We're super excited to have everybody joining us this morning. Um, I do want to let everybody know that if you're new to Monaco Blue, we're super excited you're here. And if you want to stay connected with us, there's a couple of good ways to do that. Um, the first is through social media. That's a great place to stay updated on new classes that we've got going on or product lines that we have like ColorWow, which is amazing. Um, and so I put the links into the, the chat if you'd like to check those out after class. I also put a link to our blog that has all of our upcoming classes in it if you'd like to register for anything else. And then um, another great way to stay connected with us is to start an account with us. Um, that way you can get some emails from us or get connected with a rep if that's something that you would like. Um, we're just really excited that you took time out of your day to join us and your clients would also be really excited to know that you took time to get some education today. So I always just want to suggest that you take a second, um, snap a picture of your screen, share it on social media. At the end of this class, you'll also get a virtual badge that says you took time to take this class via email. Um, make sure you share that to social media. Tag Monica Blue, tag Color Wow in it. Um, let your clients know that you're still staying educated and motivated while you're not behind the chair. Um, they'll appreciate it, and I love seeing it. If you tag Monaco Blue, I'll give you a like for sure. Um, so yeah. So I'd like to welcome um, MRT. He's a ColorWow Senior Education Specialist, and um, he's going to wow us today with the, with the digital age of ColorWow and talk a little bit about it. I just found out today that he and I uh, were in the same stomping grounds uh, up in Cleveland, Ohio, so uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame capital, which is super cool up there. Um, and I'm sure our paths probably have crossed somewhere along the lines up in our uh, Cleveland days. But we're so happy to have you here. And oh, thank um, you. I'm going to turn it over to you. And we'll be in the background if you need us. Yeah, totally cool. So um, thank you guys for having me. Um, like I said, I'm coming from Oregon here. And thank you for saying Oregon, because a lot of people from the Midwest and the East Coast say Oregon. Um, and that's how we know that you guys are from the Midwest and the North, or and from the East Coast. And I got caught doing that too. So um, I've learned my lesson the hard way. Um, but so, yeah, like I said, I wanted to kind of bring everybody um, a taste of wow. So I want to go over the products because I do think it's always good um, to always kind of refresh yourself on what Color Wow does um, and like kind of what our products do. But also I'm going to be throwing in a little bit of um, kind of some tips and tricks that we do in one of our advanced classes called How to Wow in a Digital Age. Um, and it's basically taking social media as a platform and doing that to take your work to the next level. Um, so with that being said, um, with these Zoom interviews and these Zoom meetings, it's so fun. But it, for a presenter, it's like, I am such an energy person that when I talk, it's fun to see people in the audience like, yeah, and laugh and you can hear them. And it's so funny on Zoom meetings, you see people like with TV face and then they laugh quietly. Um, but anyway, so if anybody does have um, any questions or whatnot, please send them through and we can try to answer them um, when they come through. But uh, like I was saying before, Color Wow is a problem solution brand, um, whether it be gray hair that we can uh, cover up with our root cover up, which is now seven times uh, winner of the award, Beauty Award of the Year, the Allure Beauty Award of the Year. Um, we also, uh, even with our stylers, um, we keep out certain resins and we keep out a ton of alcohols. Um, a lot of our products are even alcohol free because we know the damage that that does. Um, Really, and like we were saying before, when you think of wow, I want you guys to kind of think of it very simplistically. So today I'm going to give you information on products with a problem solution basis, but I'm also going to give you something that we call in our educational program of right pocket and left pocket info. And basically all that is, is um, kind of like a scientific little tip and trick, and then one that a client can understand. So why... Um, I'll tell you how it works. So for your stylist brain, you can be like, oh, okay, so this one affects hydration or this one affects moisture. And then we can tell our clients like, this makes your hair pretty and shiny or this one makes it stronger. Um, so let's start from the very beginning. Uh, we just put out a product a couple of months ago before all of this craziness happened called Dream Filter. And I've got all the products set up behind me. So I'm gonna grab it. Um, Dream Filter 
literally, I don't know if anybody has used this, um, but if you have, you know the power of Dream Filter. This is um, a magnet for your hair. It removes harmful minerals and metals that build up on your hair that can cause your hair to yellow um, or even dull color. So when you think of a blonde and you think of your blonde clients, um, the very first thing that pops into my mind when I see a blonde is, oh, they probably hate yellow. You know, and when they sit down in your chair and they get that touch up and they're like, yeah, it was great when I left, but the tongue kind of wore off and I looked like I was Cinderella with the blonde yellow hair. Um, generally, and it doesn't matter really where your water comes from, you know, um, minerals and metals are delivered through your water to your hair. And when we wash our hair, blonde hair and color treated hair really typically tends to be a little bit more porous. So these minerals and metals attach on and then they kind of soak into the hair a little bit and that's where you get the discoloration and that's where you get the muted color so on dark hair minerals and metals kind of look a little dingy or cloudy um and with the dream coat or with the uh, dream filter by color wow all you want to do is saturate the hair with this you want to spray this on this works like a magnet so it's going to read that hair and it's going to pick up those minerals and metals cool tip and trick on this this is also really great for chlorine so I don't know if public pools are open this year um, or this summer. I know around here it's, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, and I know states are just slowly but surely opening back up. But even people that have pools at their home, this is an amazing chlorine remover. And it's very gentle on the hair. So you're not going to get any negative side effects that you would from, like, let's say, a Malibu treatment. Um, this is not going to hurt your color, but it's also not going to, quote unquote, lift your color. So um, one time I was in a salon and there was a girl that had like my hair, like my dark hair, um, probably like a level like seven-ish. She sprayed it all over her hair and she's like, and I left it on for two hours and I thought it was going to make my hair platinum. And I'm like, girl, this ain't sunning. Um, so really to know the science behind this and what it does, um, it is just a magnet that removes those minerals and metals that yellow the hair. So if you've got someone that's at like a nine or a 10, and they really just want to get that dinginess off their hair, that tint of yellow. This is an amazing product to use for that. This is also a take it home product. Um, I would say for your salons to charge for this, um, you guys can choose a price. But um, I mean, I've heard salons anywhere from five to seven dollars that they charge for the application for this. Um, I think one thing you'll hear me say a lot today, um, instant texture transformation is a huge thing right now with Color Wow. We've really kind of chomped at the bit to look at a client and say we don't want you to have what was that called this is called dream filter by color wow um but yeah we want along the lines of instant gratification we want clients to be able to see a change in their hair really quick and i you know we're talking about in salon so like with the dream filter, they'll see that as soon as you start blow drying their hair, you know, this is sprayed on dry hair. You want to spray it on in about inch to an inch and a half in leaves. Like, oh yeah, an inch and a half inch sections, roots, mid shaft ends. You want to spray this on and I kind of pull it through the hair. Okay. So you're going to go inch by inch up the head um, and you want to let it stay on from anywhere from, I usually do like three to five minutes and then you take them back to the shampoo bowl and you want to shampoo them out and you want to condition them. Um, now I'm going to talk about our Color Wow shampoo, which I have to tell you um, was one of the main reasons I jumped on board with Color Wow. The science behind the shampoo is absolutely amazing. Um, we have one shampoo for everybody. I'm going to grab that real quick. It's called the Color Security Shampoo. Okay, so the history behind this, and I think this is super important for people to know, is that when we put out the shampoo, obviously we don't want to put something out there that everybody else has in their salon. So that's a big thing to know about Color Wow is we kind of designed for that gray area, that white space in the salon where you wanna reach for a product that's not there. We are a cleanser. We are not a detoxifier and we're not a clarifier, okay? So with this, the shampoo, you're going to get a clean scalp and you're going to get clean hair without any of the harmful ingredients. We actually have removed 61 ingredients, including parabens and sulfates, um, that other leading salon brands use that either contribute to hair loss, um, that will degrade color, um, and that will flatten style. One of the big ingredients um, that I think that we left out is what it's called a pearlizing agent, okay? Pearlizing agents are what make shampoos and condi conditioners look creamy. So it's like when you put it in your hand and it looks kind of like pearlescency, 
that is a pearlizing agent. Pearlizing agents actually can attach to the hair and can dinge the hair up. Ours is 100% crystal clear. It's like as clear as glass. Um, we don't wanna leave anything behind. I will never put down another product line. That is not what I'm about. I think that if products are sitting on salon shelves, they're great, okay? Um, just in our world, in the color wow world, we do not have category shampoos. So we don't have a shampoo that endorses body. We don't have a shampoo that will smooth hair. We don't have a shampoo that's de designated for shiny hair or volume or whatnot. Um, we believe in our culture that the shampoo and the conditioner in your shower should do one thing, and that's clean your hair and prepare it for an, the ultimate style of what you want to do. Um, so I usually do at least two shampoos with the Color Wash shampoo. That's how I know that my canvas is 100% ready to receive any of the products that I put on for a blow dry. Um, you will get an awesome rich lather with this. It's got a very light but clean smell. Um, and again, clean, clean, clean. This is a cleanser, not a clarifier, not a detoxifier. This really, really helps um, it's gentle on the color, helps your color, it feeds the moisture in your hair. Um, I don't know if anybody has used this, but it's amazing on guys. Um, through quarantine, I've grown a little bit of a mountain man beard, so I really fit in with the Pacific Northwesterners. Um, but when I don't have this even, I will use this um, kind of on my stuff on my face but right now I, I mean I use as much in my hair that I do on my beard but again gentle cleanser it doesn't make, make my face break out it doesn't give me like a waxy buildup um, it feels like very squeaky clean um, we actually have people too that use this um, that suffer from psoriasis so there's no cure for psoriasis obviously we all know that but there are suppressants and there are things that you can use as kind of like treatments um, one of my friends his name is Tim um, he gets really bad um, outbreaks um, of psoriasis on the backs of like where his joints are. It's so, like on the backs of where his knees are, on like his heel area, and like his Achilles tendon area, on the backs of his elbows, kind of like in the nape of his neck, he'll get flare ups. And he uses this not only as a hair wash, but as a body wash and has seen a significant drop in flare ups, uh, which is awesome for people that are usually told, sorry, there's no help for you here, but we have a little bit of suppressants to give them a little bit of help. This is amazing. Um, so if you have any questions on this, let me know. Um, we have two conditioners, okay? They are fine to normal, which is the blue. So there's the fine to normal. And then we have the normal to thick, okay? Literally, this is just all about consistency and your texture of the hair. Um, Normal to thick, a lot of people will be like, oh, you know, is it heavier, da 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 Big describing words, big, big adjectives on this, and this goes for any product line out there. The word heavy resonates kind of negatively with clientele. Um, I always, in a live presentation, will say, who in this room likes to be described as heavy? And I'll ask people to raise their hands. It's not a good adjective for your shampoos or even your food. Um, I use like soup as an example. So if we were talking about the, the conditioners, your fine to normal would be like <clears throat> a nice little bone broth or vegetable broth, something that's see-through, maybe has a couple little vegetables and noodles in it, but you know you can have a little bit of a cup of it or maybe even a bowl of it and not feel like you wanna fall asleep or that you've got a brick in your belly. Now, the normal to thick, is packed with moisturizers. It's a richer formula. Um, that's a great description word to use for really anybody, including human beings. You know, people are like, hello, have you met so-and-so? Yeah, they're so rich, like, hello. Um, you wanna avoid the scalp with both of our conditioners. So these are designed to go about an inch to an inch and a half away from the scalp. And it's only again, with just what we're talking about with that hair loss. If you ever watch somebody um, put hair product in, like at a salon, you will see them pack it into the front area, their bangs, and into their scalp. Um, with the conditioners, have them put it through their hands like a lotion, run it through the ends of their hair, and then kind of just run the rest, you know, through the rest of their hair. Um, for guys, a little bit goes a long way. Put it through, push it through. Um, the conditioners are awesome. I describe them to my clients like if you were to look at a road that has potholes, and I know I'm from Ohio, so I know Ohio and Michigan because I've toured up there, um, get potholes. Think of your hair as a road with potholes in it, okay? Our conditioners will go onto that surface of the hair and it kind of reads where those potholes are, okay? Um, and it will pack 
nutrients into those potholes. Um, anything else that doesn't fit inside of that damage on the hair is completely sloughed off and goes right down the drain. So I love knowing that. If I use this conditioner, especially as a guy, I've got very curly hair. I actually use the normal to thick in the conditioner, but I've got a finer texture of hair. It's just a little bit more coarse. Um, I use the um, normal to thick every single day, and I do not have any excess weight in my hair. I don't really even have color in my hair. I typically just use the normal to thick because it really helps to find my hair with having, not having to use a ton of product. Um, so that's our shampoos and conditioners. Again, if you have any questions on those, let me know. Um, I'm gonna put these guys away. I'm gonna grab our cocktails. These are my three favorites. So this is where we um, start talking about your instant texture transformations. And I always give the example of when I'm talking to people, especially clientele, I don't work in a salon typically. My friend owns a salon here that I take a couple of clients out of, um, but I wouldn't say like I'm a salon stylist. You guys bust your butts way more than I do in a, in a, in a salon. So um, I feel very privileged to even like come into salons when I'm on the road. I love the teamwork and I love the camaraderie that you guys get. Um, but I always talk to my clientele about, or my friends about these, and I will tell them, it's like if you were to go to a gym and your personal trainer said, what do you wanna look like? And you were like, I wanna have a six pack. And in three seconds, you know, your trainer could give you abs. I'd be like, oh my God, I would have an eight pack right now. Um, instead of all of these like little Debbie cakes in my pantry. Um, <laughs> We put these out as treatments, again, for the stylist to put into their hair for instant texture transformation for a guest that either has breakage in their hair, for a guest that has poofy, frizzy, um, untamable hair, or for a uh, client that comes in that has really limp hair, that just wants to stick to their head and doesn't want to live up here, or have any body in it. So the first one we'll start off with um, is the kale cocktail. This one um, has a green line on it, um, and it's packed with something called blue sea kale, which is off the coast of France. Um, highest amount of antioxidant in a plant that you can find out there also has a ton of sulfur in it. Sulfur is a bond that we break every day, both in and out of the salon. Um, but with our kale cocktail, one application of this, okay, you will receive 50% less breakage in your hair. One use, okay? That is amazing and that's going to help with your sulfur bond um tip and trick on this a lot of clients again i've watched them do it they're going to put like eight pumps in their hand and they're going to go like this and they're going to slick it through their whole hair and then they're going to come up to you and be like i don't know this just feels a little tacky this is designed to go where breakage lives okay so imagine that your hand has a cut on it okay i'm going to put neosporin where that cut is, and then I'm gonna band-aid where that cut is. I am not going to band-aid up and neosporin up my entire arm, my armpit, my chest, my body. I am dramatic, but I'm not that dramatic. Um, so where the damage lives, that's where you wanna put this. Um, and I usually just start with about a pump or two. I get it in my hands and I push it through the ends of the hair. I go around the face like these little bits here that clients always seem to flat iron over, over and over. Sometimes I hit the ends on the fringe because again, we're trying to get that fringe to go under with that heat. So you've got some damage living there. And then you wanna heat style it in. I have had women all over the world be like, what is this? What is this magic? It's kill cocktail. Again, all three of these are designed to use with heat. Um, the smell of this is very clean. Um, it's not overpowering. And again, goes on wet hair, blow dries in. 50% less breakage using that blue sea kale and really helping build that sulfur bond in the hair. This is awesome. All three of these, um, ladies and gents, if we have any gents on the call, um, all three of these you should be charging for in the salon. Okay, so all three of these, um, I would, I mean, anywhere from $2.50 all the way up to five. If you charge $5 per application of these bottles, so there are three of them, there are about 100 applications, give or take a few, in these bottles. So if you charge $5 per application, you've got $1,500 in salon revenue right here in three bottles that you maybe paid $40 for. Okay, so that's... Instant gratification for our clientele. They can also take these home. You can retail these. Um, but again, we're serving them up what they need. Like, 
you know, your personal trainers would do for you. Everyone's on a regimen right now, whether it's a food regimen, a diet, you know, a workout regimen, get them on a hair regimen. So that was kale cocktail. We're going to move on to coconut cocktail. Coconut cocktail is for dry straw like hair. Uh, this product is safe to put from, I would say like upper mid shaft all the way down. Um, packed, packed, packed with moisture and hydration. Um, when you use the coconut cocktail, okay? Coconut cocktail can be used with kale cocktail. So you've got kale cocktail that lives on the inside of the hair. And then you've got coconut cocktail that lives half inside and half out. And I'm going to explain why that is right now. Hydration and moisture in the hair are essential. And I'm going to be very open and honest with you. Um, when I started out hair, and like for the first probably five years that I did hair, I thought hydration and moisture were the same thing. I'm like, everyone needs it and it makes our hair look good. I never realized that you can't have one without the other. Um, hydration, typically when you talk about it, I always talk about it being on the inside of the hair. I make the example of if I were to run a marathon, okay, which I never would. I would never run a marathon. I have a hard time just working out now, but running a marathon, when I cross that finish line, first thing that you would hand me would be a bottle of water, okay? I am gonna be so sweaty um, that all that hydration that was on the inside of me that helped me get through that race is now on the outside. We need to replace that, we need to replenish it. So that bottle of water is an essence. Our plants, our pets, they all need more hydration to live, okay? That is going to be your kale cocktail. Kale cocktail is going to rebuild you from the inside out. Coconut cocktail is going to be like, you know, I heard it was like 80 degrees in Ohio. It's 80 degrees in Oregon right now. Would be like, after this phone call, I go and put my mankini on, you know, and it, I don't know, it's five o'clock somewhere. I grab myself a cocktail. I go sit out in my front yard all day. No sunblock. I'm Irish. I come in. I am burnt to a crisp. What would you give me to help my burns? Aloe vera, some lotion. That is going to be your coconut cocktail. Imagine that sun that burned my Irish skin is your blow dryer in your hair or your flat iron in your hair. That heat tool is the sun. Our hair is our skin. And if we keep burning that with that protection, we're going to have an extreme lack of moisture that if we do not take care of is going to affect that hydration in the hair. So you can't have one without the other. So typically I retail kale and coconut together. When using both, kale goes on first, he lives on the inside. Coconut goes on second, he lives half in, half out. Um, the smell of coconut is probably one of my favorite smells of any product I've ever smelled, ever. It's very, very light, but it does have that coconut smell. It just reminds me of vacation every single time I use it. Sun, shine, snow, leaves on the ground. I'm always on vacation when I use this. And again, this one has a blue line, and this one's called coconut cocktail. Again, heat style, heat style, heat style. Um, I'm going to take my wow hat off. Out of all three of these cocktails, I would say it's safe to use coconut cocktail. If they can't use heat, they're going to get at least a little bit of a positive reaction from this. Both the kale cocktail, and I'm going to talk about this one next in the carb, really need heat. They need that oomph in the hair. I've used coconut cocktail like when I go to Mexico um, or anywhere super sunny, um, any of the coasts. And if I'm going into a pool, I will wet my hair down and I will put coconut throughout it. So when I jump in that pool, my hair is not soaking up that chlorine because in fact, it soaked up my coconut cocktail. Um, one of my friends who lives in the UK, she actually mixes this with the normal to thick conditioner. So she puts, I don't know, it's probably one to three ratio. So three parts conditioner to one part coconut puts it throughout her hair and leaves it on for a couple of hours, rinses it out, and her hair feels like brand new. So coconut cocktail is pretty versatile. Um, if you get any questions on these, send them through, and I'm sure the girls can help us out. If I don't see them myself, they'll let me know. Um, last but not least, we have carb cocktail. Carb cocktails um, got a pink line on it, and carbs, what do they do for us? Carbs are life. That's what they are. Um, carbs have been my life this entire quarantine. Carbs are always there for you. And so is Color Wild's Carb Cocktail. <laughs> carb Cocktail, again, you wanna use heat with this, but unlike any other traditional volumizer, 
or hair plumper, we left out harmful ingredients. So we don't have any of the crunchy resins in there um, that like when you touch that hair that you've either just blown out um, or ironed, it doesn't feel like there's a net over top of it. It doesn't feel like there's a crunch. Um, we also left out um, alcohols that can go into the hair and kind of fry it, okay? What's cool about this is it actually uh, like works like a um, 3D mesh around your hair. So when you put this in your hand, you're gonna notice it kind of looks like a watered down gel. When you put this in your hands um, and you put it in your hair, and this one is safe to use. I mean, I pretty much use it clo I'm close to the root and all the way down the hair. I've used it root, mid shaft, and blow out, blow out, blow out. Higher the hair, closer to God. The hair is beautiful, but it's the touch and the feel of it. When you put this in your hand and you put it on the hair, the product acts as a 3D mesh. So it surrounds the entire circumference of the hair. And when you hit that hair with heat, this product expands, not the hair. Because if the hair expands and that hair is already damaged, guess what? It's gonna break off. So we use a mesh that expands, not the product giving your hair volume and bounce but also that body they're looking for. Um, I love using this in guys' hair uh, that have that like pompadour action going on that kind of has like the tight sides like I have, like that fade up, um, the heavy weight line, and then they kind of blow it out or push it back off their face. This is awesome to do for that. Great for guys, great for women. Um, and again, you wanna use heat with this. There's heat protection in these. Um, all three of them have heat protection. And I would say if you want to, um, I love to put this one in. I mean, if you're going to use two of them together after the kale, I would do the kale and then I would put the carbon. I wouldn't use this one with coconut because coconut is supposed to smooth out that dry straw like hair. So I usually just use this one with my kale if I'm going to get that super sexy blowout. Um, we also have these in really, really cute, small little uh, like travel to goes um, that are awesome to retail for people. And uh, I'm a retail guy a lot. I love buying like cool little travel size products because I'm always on the road. I live on the road. Um, but again, please charge for these. Uh, anywhere, I mean, you could charge a dollar for them and still see like $300 in your pocket. But these are supposed to be treated a la carte. And again, this is part of our dream regime. Um, get our next product here. I know that you've probably heard of this product. Uh, this is like the star product and it has been the star product for like two years. Um, anybody who's anybody in Hollywood uses it. We've used it on JLo, we've used it on Kim K, uh, we've used it on Ariana, we've used it on uh, Rita Ora. And um, this product just speaks for itself, but we're talking about the Color Wow Dream Coats. Um, of course, there is the Dream Coat and then there's Dream Coat Curly. Um, I am obsessed with both. Dream coat, let's talk. I'll go into salons and I'll say, how are you guys liking dream coat? And they're like, oh my gosh, I love it, it's so good. And I'm like, how are you guys using it? Show me how you apply it. Do you guys fully saturate the hair? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, show me that saturation. And they'll grab a section of hair and they're like, it's saturated. I'm telling you, if you were to see me in a live show or even online on my Instagram or on ColorWild's Instagram, we saturate the hair in this. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, please, 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 if you're not right now, again, please charge for these. And you don't have to rake them over the coals, but again, these are some products that you're going to be adding a lot of. They're inside of the dream regime, but they're also a treatment. So we should be charging like they are a treatment. Um, the, the why behind why we use so much of this is inside of these bottles are polymers. And inside those, uh, this bottle, these polymers are kind of floating by themselves. So I always give the examples of this. Pretend that you're looking at like a yard with kids playing in it, but none of the kids are playing together, okay? We go outside and we wanna round up those kids. That's your blow dryer. Once you turn that blow dryer on, those kids start to form a line, okay? Then you're gonna get your trusty brush, something that has a lot of tension, either a round brush or a bore bristle brush. You're going to take that brush, you're gonna take that blow dryer, and you're going to smooth through that hair, okay? Those polymers or those kids are going to start lining up and they're gonna start linking arms with that heat and with that tension. With enough heat and enough tension, those kids' arms are gonna link so strong that they're gonna to start to play a game called Red Rover, Red Rover, let moisture, sweat, humidity come over. And guess what? 
They're not going to let it come over. Um, we call it a supernatural sealant because it literally waterproofs your hair. You can drop water on this. I've done this on stage before, and it will beat up and it rolls right off. This treatment lasts up to three shampoos, so not three days, three shampoos. I know girls, and there might be some on this call that don't wash their hair but once a week. So this would almost last an entire month for them. Now, if you're washing your hair every other day, this is gonna last you about a week to a week and a half, but you can reapply it. So what I would tell my clients is, when I blow dry this into your hair today, I would really like for you to pick up a bottle and take this home with you. And today is Tuesday. I would say, if you're not gonna wash your hair until Thursday again, go ahead and wash your hair. You don't have to fully saturate it with Color Wow's Dream Coat, but what I want you to do is after you get out of the shower, you towel dry your hair and you put on your designated cocktail, I want you to throw on some Dream Coat and just spray it on willy-nilly because what they're gonna start doing is they're gonna start building up this product into their hair because we want this to sh kind of build up onto the hair. Now, when I say build up, I don't want you to think of build up. I want you to think of like building, like a building up strengthening that treatment um like i said supernatural you're not going to feel it there's nothing inside of this bottle that makes hair greasy because we've left out silicones and oils there's nothing that's going to make it crunchy because there is not a single rosin or resin inside of it um we call it supernatural because it's like something is living there that you cannot see it's the wind baby so you can just feel it if you have any questions on those shoot that through and i will be more than happy to answer them um, Again, I would charge for these. And little tip and trick for a guy, if you know anybody that's got an unruly beard, spray this into it, put a little heat on it. It is amazing what it can do for beard hair. I mean, it really smooths it out. Um, I've used this on every kind of hair. I've used it on Caucasian, African-American, um, both like uh, Middle Eastern. I've used it on Native American and Indian. So any kind of fabric that sits in your chair, will love this okay and again super saturate high heat high tension with your brush and i do not recommend going in and even doing a rough dry i know it's sometimes a pain and our arms are going to get a workout but i want you to put that brush inside of there and i want you to put that nozzle of the blow dryer there and i want you to pull down and just really remove that moisture and help smooth out that hair you're going to have the smoothest hair you've ever seen um, the next one is Dream Coat Curly. Dream Coat Curly, um, obviously one of my favorites. I've got very curly hair. Dream Coat Curly, you do not have to blow dry into the hair. So unlike its little cousin here uh, that does need blow dried into the hair, you can actually go ahead and shampoo the hair, condition the hair. I would use coconut cocktail and kale cocktail with my Dream Coat Curly. Um, and then I would spray this on. What Dream Coat Curly is going to do is it's going to take that curl that's usually what I would call like a lazy curl. Then I have a whole patch of them that live right behind my ear on the left side of my head. That will like wave when they want to. And they, they do that like really annoying, either flip in or curl under. Um, they're just kind of a nuisance curl. Um, I can spray this in that one section in my hair and I can scrunch it up and this really helps to find my curls. Cool thing about it is, is I don't feel it because I hate, really, I don't like crunchy hair. I was scarred as a kid. My mom didn't know how to deal with curly hair, and she was like, here's some um, Death Gel or LA Looks or Rain Mousse. Remember that white Rain Mousse? Oh my God. It's no wonder I have headaches now as a kid, or as an adult. Um, my hair was so crunchy as a kid. Like, people would be like, your hair feels so cool, and they would like, go to touch it. It would like cut their fingers. It was so crunchy. You're not going to get that with this. I would have to use three, four products then as an adult in my 20s to like make my hair look soft and touchable, but you couldn't touch it because you'd get stuck to it like fly tape. I now use one product, maybe two if I had my coconut cocktail, okay? Spray throughout liberally. I always do a diffuse even if, if it's a client into in the salon i'll ask hey can i just diffuse this really quick just take a little of the moisture out. i just want to see how your curls are lifting instantaneous okay your curly your curly haired boys and girls are going to be eating out of your hand with this now this comes obviously in a smaller bottle this is the back bar size um again you're not going to get crunch you're going to get really nice shine a lot of moisture amazing definition with this Okay, so that's our dream coat curly. Does anybody have any questions on what I just kind of ran over? That's called our dream regime, okay? So the dream regime includes the dream filter, our shampoo, our conditioner of your choice, 
cocktail, either kale, coconut, carb, and then dream coat. And that is what we call our dream regime. And that's really what we're, we're kind of driving home right now. Again, because everybody has a regime that they're on, whether it be their diet or their workout, even a work. Um, some people get up and have like a reading thing that they do every morning. Like I've got to do my devotions or I've got to read my chapter book. Or I've got to do my self-help book, especially through this quarantine. We're all finding new things to do. I've become a gardener. So that's been my big thing. I'm like barefoot Contessa over here. <laughs> I just don't have a husband that cooks for me. Um, but I'm going to just talk about a couple more products because I don't, I want to start talking about the how to wow in the digital age, but I want to tell you about a couple of my favorites because I, I really think um, these are going to be some huge players in your salon if they're not already. First one is going to be pop and lock. Okay. Pop and lock is what I would refer to as your, um, like your three dimensional shine. Okay. So inside of here, we've got a serum. Okay, we've got an oil and we've got mica. And it's really hard to tell inside when you're online. I think you can maybe see it now, but there's like flecks of glitter in here. So that's mica. Mica is like nature's, it's like natural glitter, okay? So we've crushed that mineral up through here and we've put it and we've suspended it into this product. This is 75% treatment based, okay? 25% what I would call vanity style. All right, so when you use this, I prefer using it in dry hair. So this is something where it's like right before you're gonna flat iron or before you're gonna tong or before you're gonna wand or even iron, you're gonna blow out that hair. You're gonna kind of, I would run a brush through it really quick. One to two pumps, okay? I'm gonna put some in my hand really quick. I just wanna show you. It comes out like that. So it's like, oh, I just used a little bit, but watch this very concentrated. That's now covering the entire palm of my hand. You can really see how shiny it is. The cool thing about this is that the majority of that is going to soak inside of the hair, half in and half out. It's going to feed that hydration and strengthen the inside. So there's your serum. It's going to go inside the outside of that hair, give you a nice protective shine. It's going to give you heat protectant, but it's also going to get that mica on the outside as well and give you this shimmer that you've never seen before, okay? Funny thing is, is that my sister actually uses this on her legs after she shaves, which is hilarious. Um, but a lot of people use it for different reasons. Like they'll put it on their cheeks. Um, I've seen people put it like on their collarbones, um, on their arms, back, back of their arms. But really inside of here is skin grade ingredients. So it's safe to use on the skin, safe to use in the hair. Um, I would avoid the scalp again. So this is a treatment serum slash oil. So you don't want to put this at the scalp, but I'm going to just rub the rest of my hands because it will soak in over the next couple of seconds. Um, pop and lock, carry it. It comes in a cute little um, like travel size as well that they can put in a gym bag um, or keep in their car. It's awesome. The smell of it is very light as well. A lot of our products have a very light smell because more smell means more alcohol and we are not about that. Um, another one of my favorites, I think I saw a question come through, but I didn't get to read it quick enough. Would someone be able to help me with what that question said? It says, should you use a cocktail and dream coat at the same time? You can use a cocktail and dream coat at the same time. That's a very good question. So um, remember, the cocktails and the dream coat are in the dream regime. So you want to ask your client, you know, what are we doing today? And if they're like, you know, I just want a simple, smooth blowout, um, go ahead and put on your kale cocktail first, just on the ends. And then you want to run that coconut cocktail from about the upper mid shaft all the way down through to the ends, and you want to hit it with some um, Dream Coat after that, whether it be Dream Coat Curly or just Dream Coat Supernatural Sealant. You want to saturate it and hit it with some heat. That's a great question, yeah. But the only product that I would use before I would use Dream Coat is a cocktail. And this is the reason being, um, you can use any other brand of product after you put on Dream Coat and blow dry it in. You can use their hairsprays, their texturizers, their dry shampoos, whatever you want. The only thing I ask is that you just use a cocktail and the dream coat together and in that order. So dream coat first, cocktail second. I'm sorry, cocktail first, dream coat second. Um, and the reason is, is because some products out there do contain resins. They do contain um, silicons or alcohols. And we don't want that to work as a barrier or break down dream coat. So again, you want a shampoo, you want a condition, cocktail, and then dream coat. I hope that answers your question.
<coughs> excuse me. Um, one minute transformation. This is for the people that do not want to feel product in their hair. Um, I grew up with a mom that loved to use product, but the second that she felt said product in her hair went right into the barrel of broken dreams, which is that little bucket you have under your sink that all the products go to that don't work. One minute transformation. There's a video on YouTube of us doing this and it literally just, it looks like magic, like a camera trick. And I guarantee you it is not. And anybody that's used this will tell you that. Um, woman walks in the door and she's got hair and I'm not even lying to you. She's got hair that's like poofy out to here. It kind of looks like a triangle. Lots of hair going on down here. And uh, my partner in crime, Giles Robinson, takes this product and he takes about an almond size of it and he breaks it down in his hands, okay? So when he breaks it down in his hands, he grabs this entire front panel of hair. So imagine that I had split the hair at the ear, this whole front panel, he grabs and he pushes the product through. So he grabs it and he kind of goes, you know, pushes it through like this and he grabs his fingers and he does this, pushes it through again and he grabs a brush with tension. So anything with like boar bristles, he grabs a brush and he pushes it through the hair. He grabs that hair, pushes it on top of the brush and pulls it through. It looks like an iron and a blow dryer went through the hair, okay? All with one product, meant to go on dry hair and it will kill any frizz. It will take down any excess weight or bulk in the hair effortlessly without any heat. Now, if you do want to use heat for more of a salon finish, again, go with that brush that has a little more tension, some high heat, low blow, put this on, grab your brush, push the hair into it and around it. They don't even have to do any fancy blow drying tricks, okay? They can roll that brush in their hair, pull down, push with their blow dryer, pull that blow, uh, pull that uh, brush out. They will have perfectly smoothed out hair active ingredient inside of this is avocado oil. Um, but it's suspended inside of a cream, which is awesome. So you can't even tell that there's that oil in here. When you put this on your hands, it literally feels like a lotion and it dissipates really quick. So the salt in your hand help break this product down. When you put this product in your hand, I'm going to put a little in now. So you see, I put a little bit in there. I'm going to emulsify it. Right now, you can see it's kind of glimmery on my hands. It's already pretty much dissipated in, you know, because that salt breaks it down. So when you put this in and you start to feel it slick, go ahead and put that in your hair. Amazing product, like I said, for people who are not product junkies, who are not used to using product, that don't want to use a lot of product at all, um, or for guys even, that just want to kind of have that effortless look, like they just kind of rolled out of bed, but it's that controlled roll. This is an amazing product. A little bit of heat, a little bit of tension if you want, makes it even better. So that is one minute transformation. Um, we are just re-releasing our brass band mousses. I don't know if you guys have seen this. These are our new foams. Our new foams um, act as what I would call veils or a quote unquote toner. So um, we are not about the purple shampoos. Again, that is just our culture, not putting down any other brand that are. Um, we put out these foams probably, oh my gosh, five years ago. And I have loved them to this day. We are now re, like just the packaging is changing. So we're rebranding the packaging. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Blondes hate to see yellow. They absolutely hate it. What is the tone that removes yellow from the hair? Violet or purple. Browns, we all have the clients that come in and they're like, well, how do you like your color? And they're like, I really like it, but it looks a little red or it looks a little warm. And you're like, oh my God, how many toners can I add? Let me show you this. So we've got one that's like a sky blue that will counteract those warmer tones. I don't know if you can see this on the actual computer because the camera, but there's your blue and then there's your violet. I'm gonna let these stay for a while because those that color intensifies with time. Um, I put these on, wet hair, not saturated. Okay, so towel dry, towel dry, towel dry. You can use a cocktail or two before it. I put these onto the hair um, and I do roots, I do mid shaft, I do end. I even put that mousse or that foam on my brush. I'll put it on my brush, brush it through the hair, brush, 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 even distribution, grab that blow dryer, blow it through. Like I said, yellow, out because of that violet. 
orangey red out because of that blue. Now, if you want to see more or have more of an intense vibe with these and you really want to see those tones work, I would put this on half dry, half wet. So the more dry your hair, the more pro uh, predominant those tones will be. Okay, these are going to be selling like crazy. I am telling you this right now. So there's your violet, and there is your blue. Okay, they are absolutely amazing. They look like that little Easter egg or that Easter candy peeps. I hate that candy, by the way. It's disgusting. Um, but I do like candy corn, so I trade off. Um, those are our foams, and I'm going to do one more product. I promise. Then I'm done. Style on steroids, um, says it in the name, literally puts air back into the hair. Okay, so you have those people and you can do these amazing blowouts. You can just go in and round brush, you can put rollers in, and the second that they step outside the door, they fall. Style on steroids is literally like a steroid would do that for the body, for the hair, okay? You can spray this in from roots to mid shaft ends, you can curl on top of this. What this does is it puts air back into the hair. It takes that limp, lifeless section of hair that has a little bit of a kick to it and karate chops it into like Texas hair if you want it. Um, again, great, great, great for blowouts of like Victoria's Secrets look, super sexy, like that Hollywood glam look. Um, you can obviously with guys, um, love this on my guy clients. We don't have a dry shampoo in our line, um, but we do have our Style on Steroids. Style on Steroids has a mineral in it, okay? It's called a zeolite. Zeolites are oil hungry. So if you do look a little shiny at the scalp um, and you do want to kind of look like, oh, I don't, I washed my hair this morning. Spray this inside of your hair, roots, mid shaft ends. Do section by section. I kind of let it set for a second before I touch it, go, go, go. Then I kind of just go through with my hands and I'll tossle through. You can put a brush through it if you want to help distribute it evenly. You can put your fingers through it. You can just shake it out and call it a day, but make it work for you. Uh, amazing. Again, it's for that client that walks in that has a problem with hair that just will not take shape, that will not get body, that just kind of clings to their head. You want to go for this. Style on steroids. This also comes in a travel size. It smells amazing. No harmful alcohols inside of here. You're going to get almost more of like um, a satin shine, um, meaning like you're not going to get that mirror shine that some people like, some people don't like. Um, it's going to be more natural looking. Again, because if you have an oily scalp, we don't want to add to that oily scalp shine. So this will kind of deaden that oily scalp look and give it that healthy look. Um, but those are my favorites. Um, I hope that information helped you a little bit. Um, but have fun with this. There's a lot of resources that you can find um, online uh, throughout um, our Color Wow Instagram. You can find them on, um, I don't know if you guys follow Giles, Mr. Giles Robinson. That's M-R-G-I-L-E-S-R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N. -S -S -O -N. Um, that's my partner in crime. Um, he does a ton of videos for Color Wow. Obviously, Mr. Chris Appleton is a huge one as well. Um, and then Joseph Maine. Joseph Maine is an awesome stylist. He's our creative director. Um, great guy, super talented, but they've got some great content um, that you can also watch. And like I said, our YouTube Color Wow Hair is an amazing resource for you to send your clients home with. And I really, um, I think today more than ever, obviously we're doing a Zoom meeting, people are consuming left and right, okay? We are signing on to Instagram, we're signing on to Facebook, we're signing on to TikTok, we're signing on to Twitter, way more than we usually do. I think at the beginning of this, I actually got a text message that it said, it was like a screen time report. And it was like, your screen time for the last week is over seven hours. And I was like, oh my God, I've become that person. I'm a, a literal zombie. Um, but I was consuming. So we talk about digital age. We talk about Instagram. We talk about influencers. How do they do it? What are they doing? How are they selling? How are they making money? And we've kind of started to write a class on it. And that class is called How to Wow in the Digital Age. Now, any of you that are listening in on this that are from a salon, um, you are more than welcome to request me to come into your salon when we can come into your salons. You're more than welcome to request me for whatever you need, whether it's Zoom, whatever. Um, but I do recommend in the next probably six months to a year, um, 
that we do like a proper how to wow in the digital age class. Um, it is amazing. Some tips and tricks I want to give you though, just off the bat, um, is really, really, really try to start building your power to stop the scroll. Okay. And that means what makes you stop when you scroll through? I mean, my thumb is just constantly like, go, 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 stop, go, go, stop. Um, what makes you stop? And I would write it down. I would be like, what makes me stop the scroll? What gets my attention? Um, and then start building that into your work. Okay. Um, social media works off of algorithms, but it also works kind of like a chain link effect. Um, that being this, if you use Color Wow's products on your work and you're like, wow, I'm, I'm going to tag Color Wow in this. I'm really proud of this. And you tag Color Wow in it. There's a chance that Color Wow will pick that up and will share it on their main page or on their story. It happens all the time to people. It happens to myself. It happens to people that are in salons. It happens to people that are clients that come to our salons. We try to share everyone's work that we possibly can. Now, once Color Wow, if you link us onto there and we share it, but let's say you also linked um, Babilis, your blow dryer, or Dyson, um, or Hot Tools, whoever it is. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, they see it off of Color Wow's page. And they're like, they used our brand. I'm going to take that those links start to build. So one thing I would recommend you do is always tag people, tag your model, tag the manufacturers that you use, tag the attention you want to attract. Um, that's going to create your chain link effect. Um, small efforts equal big results. Some of the biggest, um, I think most successful posts that we've had started off as like, oh, we've got a couple hours before our meeting today. Let's jump in the studio and just, you know, fool around a little bit. And then it becomes something that goes viral. And that's amazing. Uh, have fun with doing it. You know what I mean? Like use your passions when doing it. I think it's a lot easier to create content that you enjoy because you know others will enjoy it because you're having fun. Um, social media is the new business card. It moves. It responds. It answers questions. So when you post a picture, and I used to think, because I've been doing hair for 13 years, my teachers always told me that your client your work is your business card, you know, that is your advertisement that's walking down the street. Well, your advertisement now just went from a street sign to an internet pop-up ad, <laughs> okay? So it's super important to realize that when you make somebody look really good out of a salon, the first thing that they're going to do when they get in their car and they're like, bye, and you see them walk out, they're like, and they're having a photo shoot in their car. Make sure your work looks, because that can make you some money, but it also can get you some attention online. Um, let's see here. Write some of these down. Internal and external. This is a super important thing. So when you're looking at your pictures, one of the very first things that I know as a hairstylist, but also as somebody who's a consumer, but somebody who works for an icon in this industry, Miss Gail Federici, when she looks at a picture of hair, she notices the ends first. And I know that sounds so weird. She doesn't even look at the rest of the style. I've worked with many a shoots on this woman. Um, I've worked with many a shoots on a, with a lot of people that I admire. And the first thing they look at, you think it would be the color and the shine and the length. They go right to the ends. Are they put together? Do they look smooth? Do they look chewed on? Does it look like a rug that needs to be smoothed out? Look at your ends. Make sure that they're smoothed together and combed and brushed through. Make sure they look polished. And then let your eye trail up to everything else. Um, your internal, that's what you want to make sure that you're looking at. Your external would be the style, your lines that you're creating. So make sure those two things that when you take that picture of the client or you tell them to take a selfie, before you have them take a selfie or before you put them in front of your backdrop, Make sure those ends look good and make sure that those internal and external views look awesome. So that internal would be the actual color, would be the cut itself. The external would be the lines that you're creating um, or the style. Do you want that fringe to fall slightly over the eye or do you want you to cover it all over the eye? Um, step back, enjoy your work. You worked really, really hard for that. You know, enjoy it. Um, be the director. This is the first time in a long time, especially if you have your own business, that you can uh, sit back in a chair and direct things and actually like paint a picture that somebody wants to be a part of. And I only say that because right now, again, we've been at home for 10 to 12 weeks with kids that are probably not listening to you anymore. 
<laughs> that you're probably just like, I don't care. Eat the sugar cubes for breakfast. Just get out of my face. Um, you can sit down and have fun again. You want to direct this yourself. You want this to be a feeling. Gather inspiration picks. Call your model before the night before. Uh, make sure they're getting some sleep. When they get there, have some bottled water for them. Be the director for them. Um, take way more pictures than you think you need. Okay, so on, on your phone, you've got something called burst mode and it will take like 20 pictures at one time, I think it is. So you wanna set that mode and when you're taking it, press that picture button and it's gonna burst. It's gonna take like 20 pictures at one time. You never know because that like third or fourth picture on that burst could be the one that you use. Um, let me see one more here. I wanna give you a couple of editing tools. There is an editing tool called Facetune. That's F-A-C-E-T-U-N-E. -E. Um, it's like the app of the stars. Um, and once you see it, you're gonna, you're gonna know why. Um, you can do everything. You can elongate face. Um, you, can small you can make shoulders smaller. You can make them taller. You can make them pointier. Uh, you can smooth out blemishes. You can whiten teeth. You can whiten eyes. You can enhance eye color. I'm sure you can give somebody an eight pack on there. We don't do that. What we do with it is we just make sure everybody's skin looks clear. So um, we won't make it look like matte. We want natural shine. So, but let's just say they have like a little blemish, okay? We'll take that blemish and we'll just soften it down a little bit. And um, when we do the actual real live class, if you guys request it, I get to do it with you guys. Um, I'll teach you how to use these apps, but they're pretty easy to figure out on your own. They have like a little bit of like a lesson or a trial run. Um, but again, we don't make hair like let's say we had a model come in and we shoot it and then in editing we turn the hair blue that's not what we're about if we want blue hair we call an influence like an influencer or a colorist to come in and we have them color that hair blue because we're all about real we want to know how does blue hair react with our shampoos and conditioners and i'll give you a little secret it works really well with fashion colors because it preserves color, doesn't remove it. Um, but this isn't to take somebody that doesn't have a six pack and give it that, you know, you have the options with your editing tools for that. But this is all about taking your work that looks already fantastic, like fantastic and making it look perfect with just that little smoothing or that little whitening or that little brightening effect. Um, I really, really hope that this class helped you guys out. Um, and like I said, my head's packed with information here. Last night I went through and I'm like, what do you think that they would see the most of? So I kind of jumped on what's really big for us right now would be the dream regime, tips and tricks on how to use our product, who it's for, um, and then also start looking at your Instagrams. You know, it's, we could talk all day about this, uh, how to wow in the digital age, but really start keeping your eyes and ears open because right now people are consuming more than ever. Um, and we want them to be consuming your work tag us, tag other manufacturers, tag your tool manufacturers. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, um, I'm gonna give you my phone number really quick. Um, and you can reach out, you can text me. My phone number is 330, Ohio area code, 903-6837. And my Instagram handle is Really M R T. So R E A L L Y M R T. And that's on Instagram. My Facebook is Matthew Ryan Thompson. And my TikTok is really M R T as well. So if like you're in the middle of a day and you're like, oh my gosh, my client's about to be done processing. I don't know if I should use kale first or coconut. I'm going to message MRT. Please reach out to me. I mean, this is my full-time gig. I work with Color Wow. I help write their education. Um, even though we don't live in the same state, I will always get back to you. Um, if not, the time that you message me, hopefully shortly afterwards. Um, but don't be a stranger. Um, like I said, I'm not in a salon. So to have salon stylists call me, it keeps my realm of knowledge where it needs to be as well. I love learning from you guys. So I thank you so much for your time. And thank if you guys, you. did I not, did I miss any questions or? Hey, does anybody have any questions they want to ask? It was great. Thank you so much. It was oh, really thank important. you. No problem. I think so, we pretty much got um, the questions, but I just wanted to make sure. 
No, uh -uh. so, you know, share on Facebook. We're going to be putting out, um, you know, the virtual badge. If you're in Ohio, um, not sure if you guys know, but the state board waived our five hours of continuing education credits for the year. So that's kind of cool due to all the COVID and, you know, trying to keep us to be socially distanced. So we, you know, we'll not be doing any kind of CE credit hours for today's class, but um, we'll give out the virtual badge and, um, and the uh, virtual certificate so that you can post that. Um, we are going to hopefully maybe this fall start back up with some in salon classes, but for right now we're just going to kind of try to keep doing the virtual classes. We just have to kind of go by what, you know, our health departments are deeming um, safe for everyone. So I um, don't know if anybody else has any questions. Um, no. Well, I just wanted to say, like, it's it, I, it means a lot to me that everybody signed on today. I know it's like noon your guys' time, um, but, it, you know, we, I meet a lot of people on the everyday basis uh, when I'm out in the field. And just the fact that you guys showed up today when you didn't really even quote unquote have to, to be here with me and, and to hang out and to better your careers, it really yeah. means a lot to me. So I think being in this side of the field, I always put it like we are the doctors of style. And I was teaching this to our, our, our part-time educators and our new educators the other day, talking about how when you don't feel good, you go to a doctor. And when you have maybe just had surgery or pulled a muscle and you want to rework it, you got to go to a physical therapist. But when you don't feel like you look your best on the outside, it affects your inside and who you are. And yeah. you come to us to help that. And i.e., we're the doctors of style, guys. So I think that it's just super... I'm inspiring to guys have you with me today and I really appreciate your time and I love what I get to do. So if you guys don't show up, I don't get to do it. So thank you. Yeah. You know, we kind of found doing these was, um, I think we all kind of felt a little displaced in the beginning. And then when we started, Olivia and I kind of started doing these, you know, it really uh, gave us a purpose and we really looked forward yeah. to, um, doing these every day and seeing our new friends um on our new facebook uh, or on our webinars but our mrt are you going to be doing any facebook lives or any classes or anything like that coming up that anybody can um, on? you know what we're constantly doing stuff here and there and um i was thinking about in the month of june just coming on and and kind of every day kind of doing like a little bit of my own little show um but like like you guys, I've it's just been, you know, my team, we've been internally working really hard because we've got new educators we've been training and just like salons and um, distribution companies that I've just been so fortunate to still work with these last 10 to 12 weeks. But I am kind of working on some stuff behind the scenes with Giles and with some people in the UK. Right. We've got some exciting stuff coming out. Um, yeah. But like I said, if you guys, if you need anything from me, um, or any questions or whatever, please, please, please reach out because that's why I'm here. That's, and um, really that goes for my entire team. Um, if you reach out to any of us, we are really good at getting back because we really appreciate you guys and, and what you do for our brand. And we, we really appreciate, appreciate you. you guys carrying us. <laughs> yeah. Well, if there aren't any other questions, Olivia, do you want to add anything? Before we no, sign it, was off? A, it was a great class. And um, I, yeah, I hope that everybody enjoyed it as, as much as we did and take advantage of the virtual badges that you're getting to, you know, show off that you took time to, to, you know, get educated today. We'll get those out to you guys. And the other thing too, is we'll be, um, if you need to have a sanitation class, let us know. Uh, you can join us tomorrow at 10 a.m to learn all about sanitation and how to keep your salon clean and moving forward. And that's with uh, Leucoside. And um, so we really appreciate everybody being on here today. And we look forward to seeing you in person and in our salons and doing some really fun things. Um, we, have re we have moved out uh, Chris Appleton coming to Detroit to November 8th. Hopefully we can still move forward this year. Oh my but God, you guys are in such, oh my, he's so fun. He yeah, so we're looking for. We really hope we can. Um, we really, really hope we can do the, the program. We just don't know, but we moved it out from September first. It was April, September, now November. So we'll see what we can do. So jump on, buy a ticket. There's still some available. So yeah. Well, that. hopefully, I'll get to come with him too, because he. We usually get to travel to help him out and stuff like that. Oh, wow. um, awesome. he, like I said, he's such a fun, fun guy, and I've done a couple of shows with him, and just again, just with his success and watching him, it's been. 
that's the thing. Like he was with us when no one knew what Color Wow was, and now that people know what Color Wow is, and he's still with us, and uh, you know, ch training us and inviting us along on his ride, it's it's really freaking cool. So I hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to do that with him. Oh, yes. well, we hope to see you then. That'd be great. Yes. Yeah, see you in person. I would love that. Yes, that would be so awesome. Well, uh, ladies and gents, if there's anybody on, stay healthy and stay safe. Stay both of them. Keep your distance. <laughs> And um, let's get through this together. All right. See you soon, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye -bye. All right. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you.